Report, San Francisco, 2023. Silicon Valley Bank, the high bank for the hepcats of tech folded like the flash on laundry day. Cause for this? Some say it was their politically correct woke moralism, focusing on pleasing the communist mob rather than the shareholders. Report, New York, 1929. History repeats itself, as reported in The Onion, America's finest news source. <clears throat> Extra, The Onion, Tuesday, October 29th, 1929. Finest source of news in America. Latest edition, price three cents. Pencils for sale. Stock market crashes. Debacle linked to Jews, Negroes, Catholics, anarchists, foreigners, and women voters. Millions thrust into desperate poverty. Wall Street fat cats blameless, say financial experts. New York, October 28th. Although a formal inquiry has not yet been initiated, our nation's political and economic experts have revealed damning evidence tying Monday's collapse of this New York stock exchange to Jews, Negroes, Catholics, anarchists, foreigners, and women voters. Jews, J. Howard Ashcroft III, Sr., Vice Chairman of Morgan Garanti, unhesitatingly blamed the Jews, saying, All along their bony fingers were tightening around the neck of our economy, he told The Onion. Sadly, my firm had become complacent and did not adequately monitor the progress of their golem-like menace upon the financial health of the nation. Catholics. Independent Wall Street broker Whitney Van Blyden laid the blame on Rome. This year has seen a record number of rosary-swinging, incense-huffing Vaticanites sully the ranks of the brokerage houses with their execrable superstition and claptrap, he said. Negroes. The astute insights of Ashcroft and Van Blyden are joined by the speculations of officials on the Federal Reserve Board who suspect a Negro pleasance in the events of so-called Black Monday. An unidentified Federal Reserve auditor confirmed that prior to yesterday's opening bell, a number of Negro shoeshine boys on Wall Street used a substantially smaller portion of spittle and black than usual. Many stock exchange traders corroborated the accusation, noting that Monday's scuff-to-sell ratio was at an all-time high. As though adding insult to injury, Wall Street businessman Thomas H. Mogman said, Besides losing millions, I discovered that my wingtips were crisscrossed with unseemly scuff marks, as though the shoeshine boy had scarcely touched them this morning. Anarchists, said J. John Blaine, Treasury Undersecretary. <clears throat> but Kunanites created a barbarous panic on the floor. The noble and stately dignity of the Wall Street speculator is sadly no match for the godless evil of the anarchist. Foreigners, the widespread foreign presence in New York City, was offered as evidence by Mayor Jimmy Walker. Yesterday's great sell-off was sparked by the deplorable proximity of so many foreign agitators on our fire city's seedy Lower East Side, who are known to taint upstanding American institutions with corruption, vice, and intrigue, the mayor said. Women voters. Still others point to the recent addition of women to the American electorate as a prime factor behind the crash. Since women were given the franchise, America has been stretching its purse strings to the limit, the Reverend Philip Manchester said. Frugality and thrift have been cast to the wayside as the power-maddened ladies leave the kitchen to buy on credit and gamble away their husbands' savings on risky stock ventures and dubious real estate speculation endeavors, which should have stayed firmly in the domain of gentlemen. Government to take action. In what would be a dramatic reversal of previous laissez-faire economic policy, it is rumored that the Hoover administration may advocate legislation ensuring that all future share transactions are carried out with the complete exclusion of Jews, Catholics, Negroes, anarchists, foreigners, and women voters. Of one point, all Wall Street investors seem certain. They themselves are blameless. We are certainly not responsible for this crash, Ashcroft said. We are men of reason. Report, United States of America. Facts 5, I'm here giving you the facts, just the facts and nothing but the facts. And now we have all the facts about the truth of these radical leftist woke jerks who are destroying all that we hold near and dear as Americans. Please share this video around. Like it and subscribe if you want to. You can also give me money to keep it from the hands of those darn woke elites. Or don't. I'm not your boss. I'm just Facts 5, I'm. And right now, I'm signing off.